Welcome back and thank you very much indeed for your time. The final newspaper says Dr. Bomia cut sword for 69.5 kilometer road uh, from Ninahin to Yaso and surrounding towns. It brings to 187.5 kilometers in three sword cuttings for Sino Hydro Roads that we'll see sometime in 2020. Utum4 urges Electoral Commission to be impartial and Doreen Hammond is 2018 GJA Journalist of the Year. TV3 New Day is also the best morning show that you can find around here, according to the GJA. You have no doubts, though, really. December 2 tariffs increment was agreed in 2015 concession GPHA. Daily Guide. Grace Buedu gets doctorate award. Papavi tricks government. And if you're wondering, uh, President Papavi is with the Western Togoland uh, Republic that declared independence and fled. Uh, two four weights into nepotism debate and chamber rewards happy man bitters for football impact referendum in limbo whether to go forward or to retreat a bnf team ndb must not be politically managed experts warn and restrict tilapia imports to protect local industry i agree with that one the daily graphic government committed to journalist safety dr baumia is reiterating but our ratings keep dropping, and you can check with UNESCO. Ministry supplies furniture to second cycle schools. Doreen Hammond is best as graphic journalist, dominates 2018 uh, GJ Awards. Okay, the back page says 495 emergency medical technicians pass out. That will be a total of some uh, 2,154 presently, and we have less than 400 ambulances for them to to handle, by the way, and uh, the 307 are yet to be distributed. But my guest this morning is the Honorable Alhassan Suhini. He is the Member of Parliament for the Tamale North constituency, and his one is bid to contest for another uh, round. Also, Eric Chum is a member of the MPP's communication team. Um, hopefully, he will be an MP too. We don't know which constituency yet. Uh, I understand there's Fantiakwa in the mix, but the campaigns have not started, so we, we can't talk about it. We'll tell you later. Good morning, Eric. How are you Good doing? Good morning, Johnny. How are you? I like the way you laughed when I said what I said. Well, I mean, if you speak uh, good things into my life, I should speak. <laughs> <laughs> I should be laughing. I hear you. Alash, how are you yeah. doing? Well, yeah. Alhamdulillah, I'm terrific. Mm. You, know, you, you, you just had a smile. I know. Uh, when I, Eric was laughing. Yeah. You, know, you smiling for him or against well. him? I, I wish him well. Okay. It's, it's 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 not it's not an easy you know uh, uh, crown to wear, mm. but it comes with its uh, excitement mm. and its lows. I'm mm. sure he has what it takes to. Uh, is a blow be so of course. Know, and yo, that is if he's <laughs> able if he's able to uh, win his primaries and win oh, okay. their seats. I see. I see yeah. where the endurance comes from. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. I'm sure when we get them we cross it. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, congratulations to TV3 New yeah. Day. Right? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank uh, so you. for winning. Thank you. Uh, is it the best, uh, best, best morning, morning show? show. Yeah, best best morning television? Show. No, yeah. best morning show. Yes, yes. best morning best, show. I think best. we should it's all expected. be uh, glowing in the awards because yeah. we make it part yeah. of the... Yeah. And when I ask you questions, then you, you are, you're angry. I'm not angry. I've no, never no, been angry, angry on this platform. Yeah. If, if I had yeah. sat down and yeah. asked them, maybe questions. if you had done. <laughs> when you have been mischievous, <laughs> maybe, <it is> if, <laughs> <out>. <laughs> <That's all. laughs> maybe if you, you, you strike out the mischief, you would have won Best Journalist Award. <laughs> oh, well. Uh, the, the thing is that, the thing is that I, I, I haven't applied for a GJ yeah, Award. Yeah, 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 I'm, I'm I'm just, just, yeah. I haven't time. applied for it before. But of course, I mean, uh, I'm the bringing RTP morning shows today back to back. So it's it's there. No. I have I haven't applied and for and GG. And that's listeners' choice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. That's, yeah. So the listeners yeah. and the viewers make, it, make, make it. it. But I have I, I don't know what you make of the media landscape now. Maybe we will start from there because of the GG hours. So you know you've practiced before and left us to go to parliament. Uh, what do you see? The vice president says government is committed to the safety of journalists. Do do you see it? Well. Um, Maybe it's appropriate to say good morning to our viewers and also good morning to the very good people of the Tamale North uh, constituency. Um, unfortunately, I don't agree with the vice president. Mm. I think that we are living in dangerous times uh, as media practitioners. And uh, I am not, you know, the one saying mm. it. The facts, you know, mm. on the ground speak mm -hmm. uh, to that. Uh, this is the period that we have recorded 
you know, unprecedented, you know, levels mm. of intimidation uh, in the media fraternity. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe apart from the periods before uh, the 1992 constitution. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is the first time you have had uh, journalists being provided with uh, security, mm -hmm. you know, as they move about. Their families are protected. Even at one point, one of them had to be flown out of this country for his own safety. Mm -hmm. You know, you've had a situation where journalists is gunned down, mm -hmm. you know, uh, in the middle of the road. And up till today, uh, you really cannot, you know, tell the mm -hmm. level of commitment mm -hmm when it comes to finding the perpetrators mm -hmm. and letting them face the full rigors of the law. Mm -hmm. The uh, Attorney General recently was in Parliament uh, when a question was asked about the status of the case that the President reported regarding Kofi Nyantichi. Kofi Nyantichi. And, I mean, Nyantichi. And it was uh, sad to note that the death of this journalist was used as a reason why the case it's not you being mean Adam Swale's you know, Ahmed Swale's case. And quite apart from this visible intimidations, you remember uh, uh, Adetis' experience mm -hmm. also. Mm -hmm. You remember the online Latif, Latif, Latif. the Latif. online reporters, yeah. you know, who were also taken to the national security for doing uh, uh, modern Ghana. Modern Ghana. Ghana. Ajafo. Yeah, you remember, and, and these are unprecedented, you know, experiences at least under the the, the democratic dispensation. But, 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 but the, the, the explanations were that some, they were writing things that were not true, that could bring us trouble, and so people, they, they people, had to be invited to... People, people have always written things that are not true in this country, and that is why we have the National Media Commission. At worst, they are taken to the <laughs> National Media Commission. Uh, they are taken to court. Mm. We have repeal the criminal libel law, but not the civil libel law. Right. So people still have their civil liberties mm -hmm. and they can uh, seek redress to uh, same mm -hmm. in, the, in, the, in the courts. So we have had some of these things. And for me, you should not you know, respect people's um, freedoms to speak <clears throat> their minds only when what they say it's agreeable to you. Have, have we resourced the National Media Commission enough to, to say it has the power or if you have what the resources to monitor media houses? I know that about a few years ago, the European Union gifted them equipment that could monitor 40 stations. As we speak, we have over 400 radio stations. Some have been closed down, so maybe 350 thereabout. The National Media Commission is supposed to monitor each and every one of them and decide which one is abiding by the principles and the laws and the rules of practice and all of that. That's not there. Don't add the TV stations and don't add the many newspapers and the many online portals. Is it your view that the NMC is properly policed to, as, you, as you're suggesting, do what they must do so that people are not invited by state security? Now that's a different conversation we can have, but you see whether the National Media Commission is resource or not, to do what it is expected to do. Mm. Journalists should not have to live in fear. <clears throat> that is totally unacceptable. Mm. Whether the media commission can do its job or not, journalists should not live in fear like they currently do. Even if some of them are being reckless? They still, look, I have a speech that was, and I have always said it, that when it comes to speeches, mm. sometimes, even if they are plagiarized, our president has the capacity to deliver it so beautifully and so attractively, you know. Play, so I have a speech. No, it's true. I have a speech of, of, of Nana Kufuadu mm -hmm. when he was the flag bearer of right. the NPP, where he says yeah. that even if mm -hmm. journalists are reckless, mm -hmm. the punishment mm -hmm. should not be such that they will not be able to practice. You should be able to separate you know, uh, professional, professionalism mm. from um, um, the, the, the right mm. to free expression. I mean, it is a right to freely express one's, uh, oneself. That is why I said in the initial stages, Johnny, that your, your, your respect for the freedom mm -hmm. of another person to express himself or herself should not be based on whether you agree 
with the expression or not. Mm. It should it should be sacrosanct. You know, okay. so I'm saying that I'm saying that whether mm -hmm. the National Media Commission has the capacity to do what it is expected to do mm -hmm. or not should not, you know, lead to a situation where journalists will live and practice in fear. Okay. And it is not just these physical threats mm -hmm. that I have spoken about. That for me is the issue. The other concern has to do quickly, with even quickly. yes, it has to do with with even you know the subtle use of regulation mm. and licensing to shut down critical media in this country. You just pointed to the number of stations that have been shut down. Mm. In fact, according to the Freedom House International, that is the new ish. Shutting in down stations? Using regulation and licensing mm. to muzzle and shut down media that you governments don't find palatable. That, mm. that is the new issue internationally. Because you see, when you take soldiers and go and shut down, and, and forgive me, it's too early in the morning, but SH, SHIT bomb media houses like it happened in some era, you get international, you know, uh, 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 condemnations. Mm. And so governments, according to Freedom House International, no longer do that. But what they use is legislation, regulations, licensing, and others, mm. like we have experience in Ghana, okay. to shut down stations like Radio Gold mm. that has practiced over the years and has consistently been known to gold, be very... Radio Gold, Radio Gold, money. And X, Y, that's what I'm saying. Use, look, for regu as for regulations, mm. as for regulations, that's, that, that's the interesting thing about it. It can be used to build... And it can be used to destroy. But you owe money if you went into an agreement to say, give me the license and I'll pay my, uh, Johnny, my subscription. Johnny, I don't even want to go into the, into the stories of Radio Gold and NCA. Because you see, you are, you are, you are repeating the NCA story. Mm -hmm. But we are not paying attention to the XYZ story. Mm -hmm. You are not paying attention to the Radio Gold where, story. Where you, you are not paying where attention you to the Mantambo pay, Radio Station you story. To pay. You see, these are all stations that have been shut down with different reasons. Okay. And they all have stories that make you wonder if those reasons the NCI have been proffering are reasonable reasons enough okay, to shut thank them you. down. I'll, I'll That's Eric, what I'm saying. Eric. Regulations can be used to build okay. and it can also be used to destroy. And our government is doing that apart from the physical threats and intimidation to journalists. But on this day I congratulate all the award winners. I salute the leadership of the GJA. Mm -hmm. I never really was a member of the GJA during my, 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 my practice. My practice. Mm -hmm. But you know, over the period I have been very impressed with their Philharmonie's team mm -hmm. and their, you know, consistency and leadership. And okay. perhaps if I were still a journalist today, I would have considered joining the journalists GJ. don't I commend retire. Them. So uh, if I were still in practice, <laughs> journalists right. don't retire. So I may, so, I may join it. I so, we so never retire. Because you're in true. Parliament, you are saying that you're not part of us again. <laughs> I say if I were still we, practicing, I didn't we, say that. We have taken Johnny, it. don't give me a wrong headline. I say if I were still practicing. <laughs> We, we have taken Once a note. journalist, always a journalist. I'll tell the brothers. We have taken <laughs> note. Anyway, Eric, take, take a bite on this matter. The vice president says, look, government is committed to ensuring that journalists are safe. Most journalists say, um, show us the roadmap. Don't promise and tell us. What do you say? Well, um, I would resist the temptation to go where uh, my good friend Suhini went, um, just because... I think that, I mean, sometimes uh, I'm sure that viewers would even find this a bit tedious and boring that we go back and forth as mm. to, uh, in terms of the two political parties, who has done what in terms of ensuring that there's safety for our journalists. I think that uh, the bedrock of any democracy uh, stands on this fundamental tenet of the freedom of uh, of speech mm. and expression of, of views that are different from or divergent from other people. And so for me, I would commend the, uh, the media fraternity for, uh, I think, the 70th anniversary, yeah, right? 70, GGA. Uh, yeah, GGA. And then also the contribution that it has actually uh, done in terms of uh, improving our democracy and bringing us to this point where we are today. Um, I don't think that when it comes to the historical antecedents of where we have come from, um, taking away the contributions of the new patriotic party, I mean, I think that 
president, former president Kufo was actually uh, given an, an award, right? Mm -hmm. an, an, a lifetime yeah, award yeah. Uh, for repealing the criminal liable. criminal liable. And at the time, the president today was actually attorney general who actually uh, masterminded that particular process. And the quest to bring uh, freedoms and people to be able to find uh, different views and opinions on various platforms mm -hmm. is something that the MPP would always stand tall. I mean, I was listening to the news while I was coming here and even making reference to uh, our status as mm -hmm. uh, a, a, a freedom, uh, uh, what do you call it, a media having freedom. Oh, right, it's press freedom. Uh, press freedom. Mm -hmm. uh, it's still high. Uh, we've had some challenges over the few, uh, the last well, few we've years. Two, 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 two places and stuff. Yeah. But it's actually interesting to know that apparently 80% of all the attacks that has gone on has actually been perpetrated by some security agencies or the police mm. or for that matter. That is not something that we should be happy about. Even if one journalist, anywhere, finds themselves in some kind of border by virtue of an opinion or a piece that they have mm. written, it's wrong. It has to be condemned in any way, shape or form. It, it can't be countenanced. Mm. So this whole idea that any government, especially a government of the New Patriotic mm. Party, would countenance behavior of that nature. It's, it's unconscionable. But you see, where, government... Where, where Latif, for example, was let me, let beating me, let, right at the entrance of the police let, headquarters. But you see, there, that's what I'm saying. I don't want to go into that. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, then I can now... Uh, it becomes a justification but those of... Are, those no, are the I, standpoints I, to but show Johnny, that Johnny, let me, against let, journalists. Let, let me make my point. I, and I, I have condemned it. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying that any right-thinking citizen of this country will condemn it. Mm. Any government will actually prize itself in uh, sticking by the tenets of rule of law will condemn it. The old condemnation was yeah, there. But the actions have to be taken. And as, as far as I'm concerned, as we speak, there is uh, some collaboration between the Ministry of Information and the GGA itself, even with the support of UNESCO, mm. to put together a blueprint to ensure the safety of journalists. This is not a phenomenon that is uh, akin just to uh, uh, Ghana, right? There has been plethora of examples mm -hmm. everywhere by virtue of the uh, people becoming a bit intolerant to mm -hmm. the views. But you see, whilst you're doing all of these things, I also urge some circumspection in terms of reportage and other, so that it creates almost like a, a partnership between either if it's uh, CSOs, mm -hmm. it's political parties, it's the media fraternity itself. So that we all engender a certain orientation towards the development of our nation. Mm. Because without, I mean, it's, it's, I think it's a cliche now where we say that the media is the fourth realm. Uh, fourth estate uh, of the realm. The fourth estate Deck. of the realm. You understand? So it is extremely important that uh, media personnel, both uh, print, online, wherever they find mm. themselves, will feel protected and safe in an environment like this. I would urge that. When it does happen, especially when uh, issues have been sent to the uh, police, for instance, to investigate, mm. and they have to act with a bit of uh, dispatch mm. and in earnest so that these things are brought to, 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 to the people who have perpetrated this are brought to book. Mm. Issues to do with um, uh, journalists that have been attacked mm. and all of those things are things that, I, as far as I'm concerned, has to be investigated. Mm. Uh, there have been issues when maybe journalists have gone out to cover either demonstrations or whatever. And it's happened. I mean, that's what I'm saying. That The moment I go uh, off tangent, then I'm going to start justifying these things. No, but this is under, 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 under the NDC. Mm -hmm. There are so many examples that I can give. We had, we had presidential. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. We had, we had presidential staffers media. grabbing journalists, uh, cameras, and chucking them. Put some. Sometimes they're putting them in a, a, a tipper truck and all sort of things, preventing people. There are all sorts of things that happen. <laughs> that, so that's a plethora of examples, and I'm saying that. And if you even go further back, right, the culture of silence in this country, mm -hmm. you know, that is yeah. Their, 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 their track record, that's where they come from. Mm. You understand? The lies of Kofi Kumsin, Tommy Thompson, you know, you, you have been in so, this so thing. The, so, so you're saying that so they, were, for, they were brute, but, but, but that he's is, also that, accusing that you are using but that the is, law. That is why, you are using the law that is why, you see, to, to shut down that, 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 media see, for houses me, that you're not happy with. 
for me, I think that consistency is key in this whole conversation. He made mention of a certain attempt to use regulation to uh, stifle some media houses. But the thing is that, you see, it's also imperative that we create some level of consistency across board. You take a license. And this conversation is something that has been had for many times, where you have a spectrum that is, uh, it doesn't belong to you, mm. right? It belongs to the state, right? right? It's a state asset. Mm. You take it, there are rules and regulations that actually govern that particular spectrum, and you don't pay for it. Now, you can take that aside just by virtue of the fact that it's a media house, but it can come from everywhere. So airlines use the spectrum, so, so telcos. Says, that's, tel the, telcos. that's the NCA's story. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Telcos. But Radio Gold and XYZ's no, no, but story. Johnny, Johnny. Telcos use And that they made attempts to pay. Telcos and, use and the, 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 the spectrum. Prospect. Security agencies use the spectrum. Right. right. TV stations, mm -hmm. whoever, has a right to use it. That's right. Now, so for me, because it's not... Uh, it's not an infinite resource. Right. It's a resource that has limitations exactly. to it. You can't lay claim to it by virtue of the fact that you're a media house and not uh, abide by the rules and regulations. I would urge a certain level of, if you like, uh, still some kind of interaction between NCA and the media houses if there's a way of finding some resolution to this matter. But consistency is key. Mm. Otherwise, what it means is that you're saying that um, you can do whatever you want by laying claim to persecution or some uh, no, it, interference I mean, from government. I, 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 and that I is, for me, heard, for, that for me is dangerous. The, the Radio Gold but, and XYZ but it is, it is the same. They say they tried to it is, pay. It is the same. And they are providing It is the same logic. And they were frustrated. It is the same logic where we sit on this platform and it's rained for a couple of hours in Accra. I mean, so people have built their houses in waterways. waterways. Uh, people are throwing mm -hmm. uh, that, that, all this part of the tenets of the rule of law, democracy. That's what we say we want to be governed by. So in one breath, we do not, even the same media houses mm. who would be calling for equity and be calling for transparency and accountability and everything are saying that we should bend the rules for them on the, bed, uh, the backdrop of a certain persecution. Okay. I do not understand. Okay. Because we, once we do that, mm. once we do that, then it means that we are saying that the media is not meant to also show responsibility or circumspection and all of those things. So for me, you're, I think you're, that... You're, you're saying that because, uh, because you uh, are, you're listening to the narrative of the NCA. No, no, I'm not... I'm, Radio I, 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 but I, and if XYZ specifically. If you listen to oh, me... No, I've listened to you. If you listen to I'm, me, I stated that let, let, if there's a way... Let me push if this there's question. If there's a way let me, of... Let me push this question to The you. NCA and those affected media houses to find a resolution to the matter. Right. That's my orientation. I, I, I think I, that we I should, heard that we all right. Go. But yeah. let me push this question to you. And I've seen documents and correspondence between NCN, Radio Gold, NCN, XYZ, suggesting that, well, give us a payment plan or this is how we want to pay the money and back and forth. And they were brushed off. No, but that, that's their claim. You see? Or a counterclaim to the NCA saying, you owe us, you have not paid, we are shutting you down. Listen, you know all of these matters. It actually went all the way to a tribunal, mm -hmm. right? Uh, what's, what's the name of the tribunal again? I've forgotten, but... Communications. Communications, Communications tribunal, 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 right. And that was actually activated by those media houses themselves. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. And a, def a, de uh, a definite determination was made. In favor but, of but, the media houses? But, no, but that is what I'm saying. In favor yeah. of the media well, houses? Well, but you can interpret that. You understand? <laughs> you, can, you can interpret that to, to you. But I'm, I will not sit here and say that um, if there's any perception of government. Because government does not need to shut down. Radio Gold and XYZ or whatever mm -hmm. to be but able to govern properly. No, it doesn't need to. But it has done. You understand? So that, that but, but the thing is that I believe that consistency and the rule of law should be made to apply. The, the NCA what, works to government. But, uh, but you can say that. Yeah, I mean, that is your You cannot your, say. The, no, no, but that's your opinion, that, which you are entitled who, to. Who appoints, but I'm saying, who appoints but, but, the boss I am, NCA? I am saying that. Who appoints the boss I, I am saying, what I'm saying. What I'm saying so, really so you see, is that... You see, Suhini, Suhini and his, no, but Suhini, Suhini and his group Suhini. would say that, like, look, but president, was, president when, appoints when, when, when NCA boss. He, and the the board. NCA boss and the board. And, and the NCA board and the boss are doing something. But they, are, they, are, they, 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 say, they have a clear... They have a, they, they have a clear mandate. Mm. And the clear mandate is to 
do what? To ensure, to enforce their mandate, which is the, the rules and regulations. That is the clear but, mandate but the findings, is given to them. The findings see, and the rulings of the tribunal. But, but Johnny, Johnny, the I, tribunal. Hope, I do hope, I do hope mm -hmm. that on this particular case, you would maintain the same consistency when it comes to certain aberrations or uh, infractions that have been done by other institutions as well. Mm -hmm. Because otherwise, what it means is that, is this whole uh, thing that is very Ghanaian, which is a certain human face, where mm -hmm. somebody has done something extremely terrible mm -hmm. or has essentially flouted the rules, mm -hmm. and we say that, let's, watch, let's look the other way. So what happens? What, what, what happens? Somebody will come, uh, uh, authorities from the region will mm -hmm. come, mm -hmm. traditional authority, chiefs, imams, wherever, and so let the thing slide. You understand? Mm -hmm. And then we sit here and say that things are not working no, no, properly. Don't you think, so for me, no, don't you for think, me, Eric, yeah, so that for me, the NCA, if you say it is not pro-government, mm -hmm. the NCA as an institution has run over time. Mm -hmm. And if the figures they are quoting for Radio Gold and XYZ are anything to go by, it didn't just happen in 2015, 16, Yeah, I mean, some 18. of these things are probably started for a long 17, time. 16, 16, and, 16, and the record. And that is, but, cross, that is, but, that is but, crossing, that is crisscrossing different record, regimes. And the record so, even shows, so now, the record shows that if, other stations they, were equally guilty. I think, I think he's but asking me So I'm saying yeah. that if the NCA has sat down <laughs> for all these years, mm -hmm. somebody is paid with state money to go and make sure that these monies are retrieved over 17 years, and suddenly wake up to crack the whip without, as you say, put the human face. They have flouted the, the regulations themselves. No, but you, that's, so that's so almost, can they make concessions? It's almost similar to what's happening in our financial sector, mm. for instance. So you're making the argument that because there was a wanton uh, flouting of rules and regulations mm. and corporate government practices and everything, and the VOG at the time that was meant to do so, didn't do so. We shouldn't do anything about it. Is that the point? Is that, that's just akin <laughs> no, to also saying, no, but vote, uh, vote yes in the referendum because uh, uh, people have been sneaking uh, uh, in politically uh, uh, into your local. Uh, 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 you, see, you, you see the, you see the <laughs> conversation? You understand. So, so you see, Johnny, Johnny, you see where it's going? The mischief Johnny, is not Johnny, coming. Eh? Johnny, <laughs> I, think that, I think that this conversation should be a conversation to um, celebrate our mm. media uh, fraternity, yeah. uh, the GGA and the work that he has done over the period and everything. Mm. You see, I'm not one of those people who will sit here and say that okay, everything has been wrong for me, please. with right. our democracy, mm. right? There's been contributions from various governments over the period, right? right? Since 1992. We've made some strides, we've made some mistakes, mm -hmm. but it's a fledging, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's still a young democracy. Right. There are certain things that we can be proud of, other mm -hmm. things that we, we should eschew, mm -hmm. and then uh, strive to uh, perfection and mm. make sure that these things that have happened over the period will not happen again. Mm. But if we become uh, almost obsessed with NDC did this, MPP did this, and all of those, because mm. you see, when he was speaking, he tried to spell the word S H I T. Yeah. And there was a period in this country where media houses okay. were. Uh, we're subjected to that sort of Thank you. Uh, thing. Thank you, you very much. You, but I it was you under their watch. Yes, I promise but, yes, you yes, one yes, minute. Yes, I, one just, minute. Just one minute. Mm. You see, um, my brother says we should not do the NDC and PP thing. But I, haven't up, done, I haven't done that. But, but he ends he, up doing that. You see, how did and, I do and, that? and for me, that is, that is the, you know, inconsistency. No, but how did I do that? That's the inconsistency in the, in the appeal for consistency that he makes. Because, you see, look, when you talk about consistency, for me, mm -hmm. it is our president who must show consistency. He is one person who went to court mm -hmm. representing Tarzan mm -hmm. to challenge even the regime. Radio I. Where you have to make radio stations apply for licenses. Mm -hmm. He, as lawyer to Radio I, did not think that regime was acceptable. Isn't it so inconsistent that radio stations are shut down when he is president using such a law that he stood against in court. So for me, that is inconsistent. <coughs> Again, when you talk about the media, uh, the, 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 no, the guilty you know, charge that NCA uses to shut down some of these radio stations, check the Media Foundation for West Africa stand on this matter. Mm -hmm. The Media Foundation for West Africa actually went to you know, uh, some research on this matter and published that mm -hmm. indeed some other stations mm -hmm. known to be affiliated with government, mm -hmm. that is the MPP government, were equally guilty of the same charges 
that they have leveled Johnny, against on these stations. There are some stations that and yet those stations are, are still on the air. MPP that have been Do you shut understand? Down, even including the, the I'm talking, I'm talking the, about, I'm talking uh, about Oman uh, uh, FM in this case. Uh, okay. According to the yes, media foundation, according to the media, allow him, allow him, allow him to have this. According, according to the media foundation, these stations, you know, were equally guilty and could have also been taken through the same procedure. So what are you suggesting? I'm saying that 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 is not consistent. That is not being fed. Mm. That is not applying regulations mm. to build. That is what Freedom House mm. is pointing to. That government uses regulations and licenses to shut down critical, you know, voices. But if he goes back to history and then gives examples of what may have did happened to media, any, he says he any? won't, but he suggests so. Mm. But, but you, you gave that example. But you just did just, one. No, no, you just did one. You spelled the S H I S, and then you gave the example. But you gave that I'm example. I'm saying if you go that, if you, even if you do that, Johnny, even if you do that. But you started you, it. Yes, I'm saying, <laughs> fine. And I, also, I wasn't doing it because it was MPP regime. I was doing it because it is real. Mm. It is what is happening now. You see, and it is what is giving journalism a bad, you know, uh, name now. It is happening. So, you see, if you go back and point to whatever examples, I'm saying even with those examples, mm. our record internationally was not this bad. Because today our ranking is that we have fallen two steps. Mm. So, even in the past, you can count 100 examples. It did not translate into the poor record that we have today. So what are you doing if you even go to the history? Let's deal with what is confronting us now. Okay. And what is confronting us now is that journalists live and practice in fear under a president that is supposed to be a, a champion of human rights okay. and a friend of the media. Thank you very much. That is grateful, unacceptable. Grateful for your time. Uh, 020216 is our WhatsApp line. Eric, you, you wanted to say well, something? Well, I mean, the point is very simple. I mean. You see, you can do the politicking and try to uh, uh, get emotional and sway to public opinion and everything. But the facts are very simple. Like I said, it's about time that we say, okay, some mistakes have been made, right? And that we will not uh, justify any act of uh, attacks or violence on media personnel. Either it's been perpetrated by political operatives, the security operatives, or even the general public. Okay. Right. A lot of education has to go into making sure that people respect the opinions of others without necessarily attacking them. But that, like we all urge, mm -hmm. it's also imperative that there's a level of circumspection f coming from the media mm -hmm. and then also some responsibility in terms of reportage so that we all live in an, in a, in an environment that is harmonious okay. because we all want our country to, to strive, to, okay. to develop. That's all. Thank you. Join us uh, on WhatsApp 0202166633. 495 emergency medical technicians have uh, passed out. That brings to a total of uh, 2,154. And they're part of the National Ambulance Service. And uh, they've passed out with paramedic and emergency care training school at the Incheng Castle in the Ashanti region. Sorry about that. And it brings another uh, number trained readiness for the deployment of some 300 ambulances next year to 2,154. Um, Eric, I'll start with you because this is day 24 or so since I started asking for the ambulances at the frontage of parliament to be moved because we need them. And I've not been happy with the explanations that have come, that we are waiting for the full complement of them, that we are training drivers, that we are putting trackers on it, uh, that we will put it out there in 2020 because it's the fulfillment of one uh, district, one. I have not been happy about it. And even to search, suggest that if there's an emergency, we will move it to go and respond to the emergency. So if there's an emergency in um, your, your place, what's it called? Fantia uh, Kwasa. Uh, <laughs> yes, and you don't have an ambulance there. We're not ready Accra to move them. Why are the ambulances still sitting at the frontage of the forecourt? Do you know? Well, I mean, I so to start with, I don't work in the ministry, so I would go by what the ministry has said. Um, now, these things are very important to any nation, issues to do with health mm. and the security of the people. Uh, what they have said, and I would essentially repeat what I said, and you, you have a right not to be happy about it, mm. that it's not just a vehicle that is meant to be moving around. 
that is an ambulance service, mm -hmm. which is meant to be one. I, I think a couple of days ago, the vice president was uh, making the point of uh, creating a digitized system whereby mm -hmm. uh, the uh, ambulances are tracked, mm -hmm. and you'll be able to also assess um, areas that uh, they are meant to go to quickly using the digital address system. Mm -hmm. um, also putting tracking devices on the uh, ambulances, the minister, uh, special development the minister has indicated. Mm -hmm. Also issues to do with the training of the personnel because the equipment on the ambulances themselves that have to be manned by uh, the requisite personnel with mm -hmm. adequate uh, <coughs> training. Uh, so really I think that um, maybe because the ambulances are here, uh, there's a certain agitation that they should go out there. But all of these things are key and imperative for it to run successfully. What uh, for me as well is key, and the minister mentioned was that there's also an agreement with the suppliers to set up uh, a repair and maintenance uh, uh, sort of uh, point locally so that when something happens, they'll be able to deal with it <coughs> adequately. Uh, so there's a certain agitation and push that put it out. You think there. the agitation but, is justified? Oh, of course. You see, I, I, I think that really people are meant to expect government to provide these things. Mm. And so when they are there and they see that there's some kind of delay, they would expect explanations. Mm. It's government's responsibility to tell them that, yes, we have um, fulfilled a, a, a promise to provide these ambulances, mm -hmm. but it has to go through a process. The minister also made the point that even the tracking mm -hmm. devices that are meant to go uh, with it, they initially thought that it could be one procurement uh, um, transaction, right. but they just realized that when they went to the PPA, PPA was a view that the tracking devices were coming from a different entity, so okay. they have to uh, bring another bring tender. another tender for that to happen and everything. So I would urge that all the processes that have been done should be uh, activated, should be but, 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 but then, but then the, the question will but, come, the question will come yeah. up that look, we this it was a major campaign promise, yes. which is now being fulfilled. It's taking three years of planning and to make the procurement and all of that. Along the time when we were procuring these ambulances. Could we not have trained these people no, that but we say it, we are waiting could, but, for? But you see, the, the equipment on the ambulance, I'm not going to sit here and pretend to be an expert, mm. but the equipment on there, they are supposed to be the emergency uh, right. medical Ox technicians. Oxygen, uh, in and other and places, they call them paramedics right, and all paramedics. of those things. Right. So it or has to be ENTs. done properly. It is it's, it's not because you put a vehicle and then... Uh, and, and you see, the whole idea of an, uh, an ambulance is that it becomes the first point of some care. But we have a national ambulance training school, yeah, but which uh, runs all year no, through. No, but and I'm saying that see, since 2017, Johnny, Johnny, January, Johnny, when Johnny. President Kufado got in with this promise Johnny, in mind, Johnny. we Governments, could have trained people waiting for the ambulance no, the, and not the to bring is, the ambulances no, but to wait even for the people you don't to be have, trained. You see, That's my question. You don't have... I mean, you can you can ask these questions. I, I'm happy to Is answer. Is it a legitimate them. question? It's a legitimate question. But I'm saying that, you see, it's also important that all of these things are put in place. So just imagine that uh, you pick the ambulance, it goes along the road, and then something happens to it. What it means is that it has to come to a certain central point for it to be looked at, right? Mm -hmm. The equipment's on there. That needs to be used by people who are trained. Um, you don't have the full complement of that yet. Mm -hmm. I mean, maybe there will, there will be a certain challenge with indicating where they should go first and all of those things. But they have indicated that if there's a need for it to be used now, it should be done. But when, when, I'm happy... When, I'm when, happy the things, that, when the things that are, no, listen, must be fitted in are not there, no, but it, how I think do we that, marry no, the two? Listen, Number the one, things, we say the ambulances are not ready to be used no, because... It, they, they never say that. They say we, that we don't have everything no, and we say Johnny, when we have an emergency, we Johnny, can move Johnny, them. I don't think that they say that they, it's not fitted. It says that they have tracking devices that are meant to be going on there. They are meant to set up a central point for repairs and maintenance. They're also going to make ensure that the personnel are trained adequately to be able to use the equipment on there. And like we said, when you have an ambulance, I mean in very advanced places, the process, the journey from wherever you've been picked up to the hospital is vital, it's key. The people need to know what 
they are doing. How to, yeah, how to sustain it, you. To, how to sustain you, to pick you up and never <clears> ensure <throat> that you're not actually compounding the situation and everything. It's important. I would have expected that maybe in time past we would have had uh, a state-of-the-art uh, ambulance service over the years. We don't have it. There's a commitment for government to ensure that that happens. But, but Eric, uh, and that's so, what I'm suggesting. So these questions that you're even, asking... Even as a cadet yes. in secondary school, mm -hmm. We had people from the 48 engineers mm -hmm. come to train us in school on EMT. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying that... Johnny, you're, we have, you're oversimplifying. No, no, they, saying, they are, they are saying, now no, relax, uh, relax. what they call Eric, uh, Eric, defibrillators said, and all of those things for I, cardiac and I, and attacks Eric, and all I'm saying it that. It is not the... We have it a is, national ambulance but, training school. Yeah, but I haven't discounted that. And all I'm of, saying that as at the point where we made the promise, got into power, started the procurement process... Mm -hmm. We didn't find it necessary to train these guys that we are now no, waiting for to be trained. They, no, but these are, these Do you are bring equipment that... to wait for professionals? No, 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 or no, the no, professionals no. Make, become ready no, no, no. to wait for yeah, the equipment? You can, you can do all of these things concurrently. You can do it in tandem with each other. Right. All I'm saying is that, do we accept that even though the ambulances are here, it's important that all the processes, procurement, everything, the, the tracking devices, mm. making sure that you have a a test run or a dry run, for instance, to ensure that everything on there is working properly, is confirmed. These things have some warranties on it in terms of uh, the personnel that have been trained mm -hmm. to use it so that if something goes awry, it can be dealt with and all that. So these are things, and I'm saying that it's not <coughs> ideal for uh, any citizen, mm. right? And it's legitimate for any citizen. But, 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 how do, how do, Eric, Eric, but curiously, the good thing curiously, is that, the good how, thing do you, how do you compare this logic mm -hmm. that we need to wait for it for the full haul to the logic that we didn't have classrooms, textbooks, dormitories for free SHS, not full complement. No, no, I think and we went into no, 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 they don't have textbooks as we speak. They're not going to write. So what, 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 exam. what are you suggesting that the ambulances should be sent I, I out there that, without the personnel, that, without the devices if, to ensure that? I am saying that. that, I, mean, saying that Eric, yeah, I am saying that, Eric. I don't that. understand your question. If your explanation yes. is that the ambulances are being fitted with the equipment they need, mm -hmm. but the challenge left is for us to have a tracking device mm -hmm. and to have the procurement for the traffic tracking device done, we don't need to wait. That's my yeah, question. Do we, we need to wait for the tracker at no, all costs? But, but because when an emergency comes right yes, now, but, the vehicle will move anyway without a tracker. No, but you see, Johnny, the point is that that process has already been activated. And I'm saying that us, a government or even a citizen, has every right to ask government questions as to why these things are not being used or utilized. It's also important that because we've allowed ourselves to be governed by these rules. Mm. Things are done properly so that, I me, mean, I'm even more worried about the fact that if it goes out there and we do not have uh, a system in place to ensure that it's maintained at, uh, periodically mm. and there are parts and repairs are done adequately. I mean, within a few months, because these things are going to be used so, very... So the 52 ambulances that we already have in the system, where do we repair them? Ah, but we have are, a point. But, we but, have a place. But, but, but you see, uh, Johnny, so we have Johnny, a place. Johnny, I don't want to... Yeah, banter with you. No, but I'm asking the you ones, a, a the question. ones, these are uh, equipment and uh, vehicles that are procured from a totally different place, apart from the ones that we have. So, for instance, if you buy uh, a Nissan, you can't go and t you can't take it to Toyota to go and repair it. You can't. Of course, but, but yeah, or you can't take it to uh, uh, Mercedes or Renault. But, but it isn't as if we but, don't have companies that already service those vehicles. No, but this are. It's not just a vehicle, okay. and I'm trying to tell you to you that it's not just a vehicle. Well, you see, it's a vehicle you see? that has equipment, medical equipment on it. And I'm saying, so all of I'm those equipment to also needs to be. We have 52 but ambulances in this country. Yes, when it, it does, break down with the same but, oxygen. Whatever it but is, when they what bring makes them, you, what do we what makes them? you think that? What makes you think that they are exactly the same specifications? They come from the same manufacturer, and you need to use the same protocol to repair them. What makes you think so? And so, I mean, let's not um, simplify the conversation. I'm not mm -hmm. here justifying the reason why there has been a delay. All I'm saying is that if if you say you're unhappy, that's fine. 
But there's a justifiable reasons why. Why would government go through the process? Are there ambulances for campaign so, purposes listen, or for no, no, no. saving but that, lives? That is your, that's your, your, your view. How are Kumsin says 2020? I'm, I'm saying that. I'm saying that. I'm saying that. The minister it makes absolutely, they will cut sword. They will it makes, cut there's no tape. logic. There's no logic in a government going through the pains of procuring uh, ambulances for the benefit of the people and decides that you will not give it to them. I mean, come on. So I why, mean, so so why so you sometimes, it there? yeah, because the, the, it's not ready. Eric. It's not ready. Okay. You know, so you can you can also create this impression that everybody in government or government is always uh, engaged in some level of propaganda or some level of mm. uh, attempt to make gains from. These are essential things. This is a commitment that government has Look. made. This is a government that has I, I used. This thing as a basis. Eric, I've done Eric, other we're, things we're not done. Sector. We're not done with our GPS system yet. We brought in the drones. What do you mean? I, I'm saying that what because you, with, the, 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 the GPS, the GPS coordinates were going to be used to deliver medicines, essential medicines, and blood. You don't know what you're talking. You see, you're showing the certain I don't, level. I don't know. I, you don't know what you're talking about. I don't because know. I know. I if you want to ask and if you want the, to the okay. zip line, the zip yes, line because thing that the, was brought those in, 150 or so medical facilities that were made to be part of the initial mm. um, uh, pilot, that pilot had right. already been coordinated. Their, their geotag had already been done. Okay. You understand? So you see, you can't, you so can draw, you can draw politics into I, this. I, I, nobody's drawing politics into it. All of I think that, and, I think that, but I think the point that is should, that, you should be if fair, it's not, if it's, fair it's, it is not, if it's somebody not who is losing a relative this morning because no, no, they no. couldn't find an ambulance and they had to ride in a taxi no, no, but would not be happy with these explanations. What, That's what, what I'm saying. What is the explanation that I have given? I have given an explanation that the things were procured. We don't make these vehicles in this country. We don't make the equipment in this country. Mm. We have gone ahead and trained 495 emergency medical te uh, technicians to man the vehicle. Okay. And it's still you're saying that the government has not shown any commitment to ensuring that this happens. I, I started this campaign here over 20 days ago. I had a chance to speak directly to the minister. And the first explanation he gave me was that uh, we should hold on, hesitate. In fact, that was his word. And that if we rush for it, it will appear as if we have not had food in a long time and we are getting new food and we are scrambling for it. I have a tape I could play for you. And then subsequently he will say that the president, there will be a ceremony where the president will cut a tape to outdoor them because it's for. And I, I, I have the tape because I emceed the Orbis Flying Eye Hospital event at the airport and the minister was there and I spoke about it. Subsequently we have heard that, that we don't have the full complement. We are installing trackers, we are training people. Today, 2,154 of them, EMT staff that we have. And we have 307 and they, they are parked there. I'm not happy. Ah, but they've been trained. I this, am they, they not just happy. Had, when passed out the training. I am not happy. So at what point no, were they so going really, to man uh, those let, vehicles? Let's let Crystal take a bye and then you can, you All can, right. you can oh. come back. So we have our yeah. WhatsApp uh, comments for this morning. First one. It's, it's so sad when Akufuado calls himself a lawyer, but he stands against freedom of speech. Kudos to Honorable Alhassan Suini from Osman Bukurisu in um, Tamale. Good morning, TV3. Congratulations on your award as Best Morning Show. We hope that we shall see more of those best things from your TV station, uh, Melcom Dalla in Wulensi. Sebastian Adongo says, good morning, TV3. Inform the health minister that pregnant women in Naga have to, tra have, have to travel on tricycles about 38 kilometers to Kologo or Navrongo for medical care due to lack of midwives in their chip co chips compound. Wow. Pol politis pardon me. Politicizing the ambulance service is very, very dangerous. Must we wait for tracking devices to be installed before distributing? We already have paramedics in the system with the experience of using the equipment for more than five years now. So why the long wait? Even without the tracking devices, they're, they're, they're co the control rooms that are uh, at any point in time, they know the whereabouts of the ambulances in their jurisdiction. Ghana is sick. Uh, I'm Kofi Francis from Sefiwi also, uh, Asafo, pardon me. This government is making communication work difficult to its communicators. For the past one month, I've observed that they haven't won any debate on this platform. Indeed, talk is cheap to this government. Hashtag, we Ghanaians are watching. People are dying and we are talking about devices for what? That's from Mark Love in Dansoman. We already have over 130 ambulance stations with experienced paramedics. Why don't 
Uh, we shared the ambulances to those stations for now in order to boost the emergency reports, uh, response system. This government is too vindictive. No objective journalist and other individuals are safe in Ghana today. Hashtag vote no. That's from King from Wa in the last one this morning. Is those, are those things like tracking more important than human lives? Interesting questions. Okay. Thank you, Crystal. Mm. So you need to take a bite on this one. Your side in Parliament, mm. following our campaign uh, start here, have yeah. also been calling for uh, government to release the ambulances. You gave a three-day ultimatum. It's long gone. It's yeah. been two weeks, right? Or maybe yeah. around, around the 10, week. 11 days. Yeah. And nothing has happened. What do you say? Well, um, Johnny, I think listening to you and also listening to... Uh, the discussion that has ensued over the distribution of this ambulance, I've come to a firmer conclusion that indeed, uh, sadly, we replace visionary leadership mm -hmm. in this country with clueless and dishonest leadership. Visionary leadership. <laughs> How many ambulances do you procure? With clueless <laughs> you had 52 and ambulances. dishonest <laughs> leadership. They are bringing you 307. See, you see, you see. How Johnny, is that visionless? Johnny, Mark Love just sent a message and he says people are dying and you are talking about trackers. What perhaps he has not heard is that the minister, one of the excess number of ministers that we have, actually in response to a concern like Mark Love's concern, said that people already die. Oh, that's how I come That's how I come She on, said come that, on, that people come die. Come on. And that, 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 be. that is what she said, unless you are going to deny it for her. But the, well, the tape I've, I've is been, there. I haven't heard her say yeah. that. So I've it doesn't mean she didn't say that. The fact that you haven't yeah, but you heard haven't provide, just go, you haven't just go and any check. Evidence just go and check. You know, mm. so she said that, that people already die. You see, Johnny, he says, that yes, I mean, they are bringing these ambulances. How many ambulances did we acquire? Mm. Health delivery in this country, Johnny, mm -hmm. is not just about ambulances. <laughs> it's much more. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. And that's why I said we replace visionary leadership with clueless and dishonest leadership. Mm -hmm. Clueless is demonstrated in the question, how many ambulances did you bring? As if bringing ambulances is the greatest need of our health service delivery in this country. Mm -hmm. Johnny, you had a leader who was constructing regional hospitals. And that is how come even in Greater Accra, we have the Ridge Hospital, mm -hmm. which was supposed to take the load from Kolebu. Right. And you have the Dodoa Hospital, which was supposed to take care of patients from the Eastern Corridor. Mm -hmm. You also have the Kasua Hospital, which has been abandoned, by the way, mm -hmm. which was also to take care of patients from the West. So that Kolebu and Rich mm -hmm. will not even have the, the stress that it currently has. Then you had the University of Ghana Hospital, and then you had the Bank of Ghana Hospital, and the Ports and Harbors Hospital. These are all just in Greater Accra. Mm -hmm. So that 37 and others can focus on special, you know, uh, health delivery. Mm -hmm. And these were hospitals that were constructed and in some cases re, 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 refurbished, not, not, not without the equipments mm. that will provide health delivery. And this was not just limited to Greater Accra. Mm. You went to Kumasi, you had some of these investments going on. You went to the Upper East, Upper West. You had these investors. In fact, recently the president went to cut sort of, I mean, uh, one of the hospitals mm. and has also abandoned it after even cutting sword, even though he inherited it. So you see, health delivery yeah. was tackled in a holistic manner. Mm. And I'll just share a story with you. Quickly, we're, we're up Modern up. Ghana, uh, November 26, 2013. Mm. Offensive Emergency and Paramedic Training School begins training emergency medical technicians and drivers. Mm. Take note. The National Ambulance Service under the Ministry of Health has begun training emergency medical technicians and drivers in its emergency and paramedic training school. The school, which is situated at Nkenkasu in the offensive north district of it's the Ashanti the region, is the first of its kind. <laughs> is the first of its kind in Ghana and West Africa sub. Uh, I mean, uh, sub region. So I'm telling you about visionary leadership. Mm. So these graduates, it was deliberate for them to be taken through training. Mm. It was deliberate because, you see, you were building the hospitals across, you were equipping the hospitals, and you were also going to talk about, to, 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 to cater for emergency. And so mm. you needed to start the training in 2013. 
And so you see when you come and then you do a, a so populist which, which you do a populist thing of so please can I finish? Please, can I finish? Going to use please. To start when, when you come <laughs> and you do when you come and do a populist thing of there. just procuring ambulances and say you Why have solved the health problem, so then you launch drones that we can't even find at, at huge cost to the taxpayer, and you think you are doing something about health. It is the cluelessness that I talk about. It is simply a lack of understanding. You're, 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 of giving, what is you're required. giving government an ultimatum to move the ambulances. They haven't moved. Our ambulances. ranking member, what, what our else? ranking member on health, I know this morning is on his way from Tamale to Accra on this matter. And I believe that when, because he had to do some, you know, mm. uh, 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 other equally important mm. assignments in, in, those, in that part of the country. I know when he arrives, it's one of the issues that he will be uh, uh, tackling with, you know, other members of the health committee. We hear you. So you will hear give, from us. Give TV3 three New Day uh, yeah, listen, props it's, because it's rather... even though the ambulances were packed in parliament, the parliament didn't ask a question about it until we started listen, talking about it. Yeah, you deserve commendation. So I think I must commend that the, is the actually ranking member of, 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 in propaganda of, of health and right, the other. populism because oh, really. to start with. Is oh, rather than oh, really. So that's, I, that's, I, that's, I see it is it is the I, lack I, of vision. It is, it is the says, lack of Eric understanding. Says ambulances are not of, for campaign. And it's the lack of governance. It's a it's the lack of understanding of correct governance. No, no, how and would, building how would, how would, of a nation how would, how would, that will lead you to think that you, a simple procuring a government procuring that, ambulances uh, and packing them and saying people die anyway is a solution to the health needs of this problem. Thank you, gentlemen. Honorable Hassan Suhini is the member of Parliament for the Tamale North constituency has been here on the ticket of the NDC and Eric Chum is also here. Uh, you would hear from him shortly from Fantiaqua. He, is, uh, he was here on behalf of the NDP. I thank you very much.